Since the foramen of Monroe is relatively narrow, the endoscope sheath is advanced into the third ventricle with the help of the optical obturator. Thanks to the conical tip, the foramen is dilated without damaging the edges. By rotating the 30 degree endoscope backward, the entry to the aqueduct can be visualized which is obstructed by gliomatous tissue. As is typical with chronic hydrocephalus, the floor of the third ventricle has thinned out. One can see the branches of the basilar artery and, on the left-hand side, the oculomotor nerve through the floor of the ventricle. The floor of the ventricle is initially perforated on the midline, exactly behind the clivus, using the deck forceps. The perforation opening is expanded by inflating the balloon of a three French Fogarty balloon catheter. To ensure the slow and continuous enlargement of the balloon, the latter is filled with saline solution. The balloon must be inflated several times in order to achieve an adequate ventriculostomy size of approximately 4 mm. The strong pulsing of the floor of the ventricle indicates a good CSF flow. To ensure communication with the prepontine cistern has been achieved, the inspection is carried out using a 30-degree endoscope. One can see the branches of the basilar artery and, on the left-hand side, the oculomotor nerve. The endoscope with sheath is then carefully pulled out of the third ventricle. The anatomical structures in the area of the foramen are intact. To rule out an active source of bleeding, the endoscope sheath is removed from the cortical puncture channel under visual control.